Excellency Stephen McGann and Madam Petra McGann, and thank them for serving as uh, the ambassador of the United States of America to Fiji, and also to bid uh, them farewell. We wish them all the very best for their next appointment. Probably some of you do not know, even before uh, Ambassador McGann, arrived in Fiji to take up his uh, posting in November 2008, he was already familiar with, with uh, the Pacific region. He wrote in the Foreign Service Journal in January of 2007, whilst the Director for Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Island countries, of the need for the United States of America to engage with the South Pacific. And for the last uh, few days, and uh, this past week, we have seen that engagement at the very highest level. None other than uh, the Assistant Secretary, uh, Kurt uh, Campbell, has been visiting the Pacific, uh, visiting some of our other countries in the Pacific. Ambassador McGann, if I can share a secret uh, with you, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, has fulfilled all the three, the three uh, tips that I was uh, given how to be a good diplomat <laughs> by a former foreign minister of Fiji when I was high commissioner in Papua New Guinea. Minister Tawola, he told me, you know, Ambassador, uh, Commissioner, there are three things you must do if you want to be a good diplomat. First, you must know how to sing Secondly, you must know how to play golf. And thirdly, you must know how to drink lots of red wine. <laughs> My good friend, Ambassador McGann, I can assure you, has passed all those uh, three. <laughs> He's just learned how to play golf in Fiji, and some of us, uh, some of the ambassadors, will be uh, playing a fair of golf with him tomorrow at Natandola. Hopefully the, the weather will be okay tomorrow. But uh, Ben again has done, has achieved a great deal during his time here. And if I can just mention one or two things. He has uh, overseen the uh, finalization and opening of the U.S. Uh, Chancery on Princess Road. I had the privilege of uh, touring that uh, facility this afternoon. I was quite impressed. And if I can just say, uh, to my good friend Sir James Akoy, that the new uh, chancery is much better than the old uh, chancery. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, Ambassador again on this very great achievement. And also, Ambassador has overseen the uh, reopening of the uh, US aid office here in Suwa, and I trust that the uh, reopening of the US aid office is in recognition 
of the need for concrete developmental efforts in the country and also as a means of strengthening the partnership between Fiji and the United States of America. Ambassador McGann has facilitated and conveyed the decision by the U U.S. Uh, government to engage with the government of Fiji during his term. Fiji has maintained its stance that the best way to address any concerns in bilateral relations should be through dialogue and engagement. And we look forward to continued engagement with the U.S. government in this manner. And we are pleased that there is one more friend back in the United States in the person of the Ambassador McGann. Your Excellency and Madame, thank you for all the work you have done in your time here. The countless meetings that we have initiated, your efforts in understanding Fiji's situation, and the projects that we have initiated and seen to conclusion. Your initiatives have laid the groundwork for long-term gains in our partnership, and you will be remembered through the projects as they yield results over the years. May God continue to give you success as you take up your next assignment. Nagabogalevu, Excellency, and God speed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Attorney General will um, give a uh, small gift as a token of appreciation for Mr. Gunn's term. I wonder what it is. My friends, many of you don't know that I began my journey in the Pacific with Fiji. I met President Nailatakau before I became ambassador. I met many of you before I became ambassador. In fact, when my first trip to Fiji was in 2006. And it was, I did that uh, in 2006 as the director to demonstrate that by my coming to, the, to Fiji first, to a Pacific Island country first, would show that one day the United States would resurge in its engagement. During the time that I've been here, I've had good conversations, difficult discussions, but I've always had the hand of friendship extended to me. The acting Prime Minister and I have had shared a few good jokes, uh, and I think uh, one of the things that we've seen is that uh, as he's becoming newlywed, not only has he become taller, he's become a bit wider. <laughs> <laughs> I think also, as uh, former Mr. Kumabo pointed out, that one of my achievements here has been uh, taking up golf. However, he has kept me so busy that I have not yet broken 100. <laughs> well, we may do something about that tomorrow. But all in all, I just really want to express uh, my appreciation for the cooperation in helping me not only work with you. It was an opportunity to transform the American Embassy in Suva into the regional hub of the Pacific for the United States. My embassy uh, covers not just Fiji, but Kiribati, Nauru, the Kingdom of Tonga, and Tuvalu. We have consular responsibilities for uh, French Polynesian New Caledonia, uh, giving me alone more than seven million square miles of authority, which means when you leave Honolulu, I'm the senior most representative of the United States. <laughs> I remind them of that all the time, but sometimes they don't return my calls. <laughs> but more so, we also support four other embassies in Port Moresby, in Palau, Micronesia, uh, and, and Marshall Islands. And we do this because we all have a commitment to the people of the Pacific. And I think that commitment was uh, most seen with the work that President Nalatakau and I did together. When I first arrived, he and I had a conversation about we need to do something about 
the problem of trafficking in persons. And the President agreed that his office and my office would work together to move Fiji up on the list. We did it in less than seven months. And that shows you that when Fijians put their mind to it, they can accomplish anything and they can accomplish it fast. So I don't want to sit here or stand here rather than give a very, very long speech. I do want to say that it has been a real pleasure to be here. While today represents the end of my public service in Fiji, I want you all to know it is also the beginning of the private service that my wife, Richard McGann, and I will conduct in Fiji. So I may be leaving next week, but I'm not gone. So thank you very much. Friendship between the peoples of the Republic of Fiji and the United States of America remains strong. While we have some differences, but those differences do not override the strong friendship in the areas in which we cooperate. That cooperation includes your support for resolutions at the United Nations that we also support. We're proud that your soldiers participate in UN peacekeeping operations, particularly in Iraq and the Sinai. We also know that Fiji and the United States has demonstrated a commitment to work together on improving law enforcement cooperation as well as strengthening civil society. So my time in Fiji has been a time to look at ways in which we could work together. The government has been extremely helpful to me as I have constructed what is the largest embassy building of any country in the Pacific. It was through that cooperation that we were able to employ over 500 skilled Fijian workers to use 24 Fijian vendors and over the past four years to put more than 60 million dollars into the local economy. We did that uh, under an agreement that it is for the good of the economy, for the good of our peoples, that we can work together to accomplish what has to be one of the most beautiful buildings in the Pacific. We have been involved in the Pacific since the beginning of our country. Yankee whalers were here. Missionaries were here. We established trade ties in the Pacific. We all are quite familiar with the support that we gave each other during World War II. So the Pacific is an important part of, of, of what the United States sees in, as its role. And Pacific Island countries, as I mentioned earlier, you know, work with us. We have challenges ahead in dealing with climate change. We also have to work together to address the problem of non-communicable diseases, right? And clearly, the issue of trafficking in persons is something that we've worked on together. But we're also proud to know that Pacific Island countries give great support to the United States in the United Nations on resolutions that we feel are important. Resolutions that pertain to the Middle East. Resolutions that pertain to the status of Georgia. The specific island countries that stand with us on these key issues. And we've always been appreciative of that. Trade is, a, is, is something that always needs to be increased. Our national export initiative is looking for ways in which we can increase trade from the United States to the Pacific. At the same time, we're also looking at ways in which more trade from the Pacific can go to the United States. In Fiji, uh, as we well know, one of your prime exports to the United States is Fiji water. Most people don't know that the second largest import, or rather export from Fiji to the United States is mahogany. So there are ways in which we can just explore how can we do this better. I think that if we look uh, to the future, perhaps we can look at renewable energies as a way to increase trade. We can look at the provision of electric vehicles. There are so many things that we can do. And I think that with a firm eye toward cooperation, we can get it done. The incoming ambassador, uh, uh, Frankie Reed, who is currently serving as Deputy Assistant Secretary to Assistant Secretary Kurt Campbell, comes to Fiji with a strong knowledge of the Pacific. She's responsible for the Pacific in her current job. 
She served as our Charge d'Affaires in Apia, and she also worked uh, on North Pacific Island issues in her previous incarnation. So I don't have to give her much advice because she's going to be able to hit the ground running.